As somebody who marks these types of questions, I want to tell you what I particularly like about this answer. So we've been asked to calculate an estimate of the mean in this question. So quite a standard question that we see quite regularly come up. And to do that, you need to find the midpoint, which is what this MP column will be here, because we're told that there's two, uh, two of these dust particles that are somewhere between one and two microns. So the best place to guess if we don't actually know where they are is bang in the middle. OK, now creating this midpoint column here and seeing the numbers 1.5, 3, 4.5 and 7, because they are the numbers in the middle of those categories will get you one mark. But what I particularly like is this bit of shading out here. OK, the reason why I like that is one of the main misconceptions when people complete these type of questions is they add up this midpoint column, which you shouldn't ever do. OK, you never do that. Your formula to work out the mean is what is the total number divided by how many things there are. In terms of how many things there are, we're talking about frequency. The midpoint is just telling us roughly where they must be in between these sizes. You can then see another column has been forced on the end here called midpoint times frequency. So they've done 1.5 times by 2 to get 3, 3 times by 6 to get 18, and so on to get the other answers. As I said before, to work out the, uh, to work out the mean, you add together all of the numbers and then divide by how many there are. And by shading out underneath the midpoint column, you can see that there's that opportunity not to go and add that up accidentally, but you do go and add up the midpoint times frequency columns. That tells you how many microns they would be in total, divided by the total number of different dust particles. I can then see the calculation has been done, and then I've got the answer 4.25. I want to see what calculation has led to that answer.